hi, my name is Holly Dale. I'm a student here in the, in the PAYAC department, working with Carl Wunsch. And as, as a student in the MIT Woods Hole joint program, I've also been able to collaborate and learn from scientists at the Woods Hole Oceanographic, which has been, which has been great. Um, I'm working in uh, a, a PhD in, in physical oceanography, and I focus on large-scale ocean circulation. And in particular, I'm interested in the ocean circulation at the last glacial maximum, which is a period in Earth's history about 20,000 years ago when there were large, uh, large ice sheets across North America and Northern Europe, and uh, the climate was significantly colder and potentially quite, uh, quite different. So um, there's two ways that people generally study ocean circulation in past climates like this, two ways people try to uh, get answers about it. One is through modeling, so they, they build a numerical model of, of the climate or the ocean circulation at, at this time period, and they, um, use it to, to test hypotheses. And the second uh, approach is to go out and collect data via sediment cores or ice cores, and to use those cores to uh, try to uh, look for climate signals uh, through a variety of different proxy types. And so these are ways that people test hypotheses about, uh, say, ocean circulation at the last glacial maximum. What we're doing is um, to combine these two approaches. So we use a type of data assimilation, we call it state estimation, that allows us to uh, obtain the best of both worlds, is the way that we see it anyway. Um, that is to say, we can uh, require our numerical model to uh, remain close to the proxy data that are available. And so this is a very exciting new area that hasn't been, um, hasn't been very heavily explored, and I think there's a lot of room for um, advancements. And so, um, our results remain preliminary, but in our, in our early results, uh, what we're finding, for example, is um, that uh, the data indicate uh, enhanced circulation in the North Atlantic, and in particular, we see enhanced uh, upwelling um, off the coast of Africa, and to go with that, enhanced upwelling winds. So this is, a, this is an exciting project, and we're really looking forward to pulling in more data and um, using additional modeling techniques to uh, test hypotheses and um, really learn as much as we can about this, uh, this time in Earth's history.